Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Just got our latest shipment from Crate Club. This one's pretty heavy. Let's see what's inside. So in case you've never seen it before, there are different levels with Crate Club. I'm getting the major level sent to me. Our first item is this. These are stormproof matches from Yuko. They make a great product. And these ones are the beasts. These are the Titans. So look at the size of that thing. That's monstrous. So I'm gonna make a short of this um, using this and I'm gonna actually stick it in the snow, take it back out, you'll see it'll stay lit and I'll roll that in right here. All right, here we go. So there it is. Take it back out, starts up again, here we go. Take it back out, starts up again, here we go. Take it back out, starts up again. I mean, it's crazy, look at this, ready? Nope, not going out. Eventually, when it gets down to the wood, it's gonna go out. But that is a cool, cool product. But these are awesome. You don't get a ton of these in the um, in the setup. I think you get 12 total. You get an extra, here's the striker on the outside. You get the container, an extra striker. Um, I'm gonna say this again and again to Yuko. Um, Zippo makes a similar product and they have the striker on the bottom and a cap that covers it. If this gets wet, these, this just starts to shred and you can't use it. So Yuko, I wanna encourage you, put a different striker somewhere else where it can't get exposed to the elements. That being said, keep this in a plastic bag if you have to, but these are awesome. All right, item number two is this SOG Tomahawk. I have used SOG Tomahawks over the years. This is actually one of the first types of products I ever reviewed on the channel. If you go back to Everyday Tactical Vids, go to videos and then go to like the earliest ones, you'll see I reviewed one of the SOG Tomahawks. I think these are great products. They're super lightweight. It gives you a chopping tool. Um, yeah, the steel is for this one is 420 Rockwell Hardness, 51 to 53. Um, blade length, 2.75. The weight is 24 ounces. Your overall length, 15.75 inches. I think these are cool products, um, particularly because particularly they're so light. Um, I like the CRKT Tomahawks, but they definitely have heft and they're just bigger. This one you can easily fit into a pack. Here's what it looks like outside of the pack. You can see that you've got your cutting edge and then you've got this spike on the back and then you've got the little section there, which you can use actually to hammer. Now, this is not going to replace, you know, a hammer, a mallet, um, if you make your own uh, baton out in the woods, but it will suffice. Uh, it'll work a little bit, you know, if you have a couple nails, you gotta drive into a tree or something like that or drive into some wood. So yeah, I do like these products and I think they're pretty slick. They had a survival hawk a while ago that had a fire steel in the handle. It was cool to have a fire steel. It wasn't great because the fire steel was very flimsy. It broke on me quite easily, um, but I do like these. I think these are cool. So, so far, two cool products in this uh, quarter's crate club. And there's a look at it with the sheath on. You can throw that on a belt. I was thinking to myself, maybe I'll keep this in my truck, but I, I forgot I got an ax that I keep in the, uh, you know, a full-fledged ax um, that I keep in the, uh, in the bed mounted there. But uh, maybe I'll keep this, you know, put it under a seat or something like this for some smaller tasks. But yeah, cool product. I like this from SOG. Third product coming to us from CRKT. And I'm gonna use my other knife, which right now I'm carrying a Kubi folder to open this up. But this is an M16, or it's the M21-14SFG. So, a bunch of paperwork in there. This is a big folder. I had one of the original um, M16s that was like tan. So this is, I guess it's black. It looks like it's got a little bit of a brown tinge to it, but I think it's just black there. So, big hefty folder. That's what it looks like. You got serrations. The thing I like about this size knife is that, first of all, I do like the fact that it's got this, basically they turn into finger guards. So really, you know, you can basically lock in and keep your hands safe. The blade is long enough that you can use the VEF serration when, VEF serrations, which I like a lot. And your cutting edge is still long enough. Sometimes you have serrations either the whole way, which I don't like, or there's so much of the blade that serrations, you have this tiny little edge that, that's a straight edge. So with this, you can use both of the, uh, both of the cutting edges quite well. If you've never seen it before, it's got the auto locks. I think it's L-A-W-K-S system. So um, it does have, now you can see the liner lock, but if you just try to push it down by pushing the liner lock to the side, it won't work. You have to release the auto lock system, push it down, then the liner, and now this thing will fold up. 
definitely a big a big folder. Some people are gonna think that's too large, but I think it's a cool knife. I don't know if it'll eh, almost. It's it's pretty heavy, um, but yeah, you gotta you gotta kind of flip it a little bit to open it up. Real quick, as far as the details, we have overall length 9.31 inches, blade length 3.97, blade thickness 0.14, closed length 5.34 inches, so definitely big. Weight 6.6 ounce, ounces, your handle's G10. The blade steel is 1.4116. I think that's a Sandvik steel, if I remember. Um, and then your blade finish is a titanium nitride. So I don't know if I've had this one before. I've had a lot of CRKT knives over the years. Um, but I do like this knife. It's definitely a big, beefy folder. Cool blade. I think that's three wins in a row in this crate club. All right, item number four, as you can see, the sun is starting to go down. It's a pretty significant uh, cleaning kit. So from Chrome, universal molded cleaning kit. Um, great for gun shotguns, handguns, rifles. You can see all the gear that comes in it. Take a look at that, 50 plus pieces. Um, and there's a look. So if you want to get the details here, just pause the video and you can... Maybe take a screenshot and zoom in, or I'll obviously put links down below. You can check out more about this. Um, I've got a handful of cleaning kits for my firearms, um, but this one is so nicely organized. I might have to swap out some of those and use this one just because it's. I love having a nice organized kit. Um, they did give you probably two, maybe two boxes ago, two quarters ago. Um, a cleaning mat that had like a little plastic tray on the end so you could put, you know, nuts and bolts and all kinds of things in there. Um, but yeah, this looks cool. So um, I am no firearms expert. That's not my area of focus on this channel. But um, yeah, looks like a cool kit. So let me offer you, let me hear your feedback. Offer some feedback uh, on this Chrome kit if you're familiar with this. What do you know about it? Um, what type of cleaning kit do you use? That's always helpful for me to hear as well. All right, one more item. Let's check it out. All right, here's your last item, a set of binoculars. This, These are the Barska 10 to 30 by 50 reverse Poro zoom binocular. So let me read you the description here. I um, just want to share this with you. So the 10 to 30 by 50 reverse Poro gladiator zoom binoculars combine uh, extended magnification in a more compact design for greater mobility. Um, overall size is compact. You have a large 50 millimeter objective lens. It's going to go from 10 all the way up to 30 as far as your magnification. Um, the rubber armor exterior provides an extra layer of protection and textured surface for a non-slip grip. So for me, I always think about these in relation to a car kit. I always have a set of binoculars in, in a car, um, less for emergencies and more because like even where I am today, there's a road, a dirt road out in front of me. If you take that dirt road to the end and then you take our left, you go past some kind of big fields and stuff. Multiple times I've seen this beautiful red fox walking across it in the mornings. So I take out my binoculars and look, the set that I had in my truck was really small. So I actually just swapped out that set for a larger set and these may go into my wife's car. So I've got a set there as well. So let me uh, open up the box. I'll show you what they look like. Here's the, the, what they look like. Um, you do get a case. You also get a strap as well. So pull these covers off, pull these covers off. So, yeah, let's just see here. So, there's that. Obviously, um, I have a video, actually, if you want to check it out, on how to set up binoculars, close one eye, close the other, adjust them. And then you can see you get this little paddle here to zoom in and zoom out. And, uh, yeah, they're definitely, they got some heft to it, rubber coated. You can see those are the slots where you're going to put your uh, put your strap. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. That's your your last item at the major level for this quarter's Crate Club box. All right, so some thoughts. Um, first off, I say this almost every time I shoot a unboxing video. This is not a full review of all the items, but it's to give you a sense of the type of items you would get if you ordered Crate Club's box. So um, the other thing I often mention is that you have to be okay with somebody else buying you gear. That's just the nature of a subscription box, Crate Club, Battle Box, um, Nomadic, any of those boxes. You gotta be okay with somebody else buying you gear. Um, if you're good with that, pretty consistently when I've done the research, you're paying X and you're getting X plus 30, 50, a hundred uh, dollars of value. So it's, it's, I don't think I've ever seen a box from any of the companies that I've worked with that I've done the research on that I was like, man, they're charging X, but you're getting way less value. Um, they're able to get things in bulk. So that's how they save money, blah, blah, blah. But um, they're able to they're able to get things in bulk. So that's how they save money and they make some of their profit that way. But uh, this box to me is, it's a win. I mean, I love this knife. I've already said that, 
but some knives I get and I just pass them on or I sell them or whatever, but this one, this one's a keeper. I like this guy. I like the Binox. I like the uh, Tomahawk. Like I said, the gun cleaning kit is kind of neither here nor there. I'd be interested to hear your feedback on that. But uh, I would say thumbs up for this box. I do wish that Crate Club said what each item was valued at. I think that's helpful to know. Um, I think more companies that do these boxes are tending away from that because they don't want to get into all that nitty gritty and have, that kind of opens up the debates. But I do think it's helpful for people to know, hey, this is what we, this is the value for this item. Um, and as large, long as they don't jack up the value and people are able to look and go, you're saying that's worth a hundred bucks, but it's only 50 bucks online. As long as they don't do that, um, you get to actually see the value that you're getting. So I think that would be a win. Um, they've got different levels for the Crate Club um, boxes. Links down below if you want to learn more about them. I will say this is probably one of the best boxes I've seen in the last two or three quarters, maybe. Um, some of the other boxes were like okay to good, but I would I would call this a good to a really good box. Um, I appreciate what these guys are uh, what these guys are doing in this box. So Crate Club, if you're watching, thumbs up. Keep moving in this direction. Yuko, if you're watching, I want to tell you again. Uh, just encourage you find a way to cover up that that um, your striker for your uh, matches so that it doesn't get wet and then you know basically kind of just crumble in the moisture and then you can't start your uh, start your matches. So there's that. Uh, let's hear your thoughts and your feedback on this quarter's crate club and let's get that discussion started in the comment section now. All right, guys. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Check us on our Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.